Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 3rd, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. There were some tremendous thunderstorms overnight and the rain was tapering off by around 7 a.m. I started off by scanning the lake and the highlight was this breeding plumage common loon. It was a day of changing weather with that rain ending early. Overall, it was fairly warm today. The wind started out out of the south-southeast and were moderate, and the morning was cloudy overall, but good enough to have a decent hawk flight. And then as we got into the early afternoon, there was some rain that paused the count for about an hour when there wasn't much migration. And then afterwards, the winds had shifted more southwesterly, and it started to clear up a little bit and we got a really big flight of turkey vultures and then in the final hours of the count the sun really started to come out so it turned into a really beautiful evening here we have an asip with a small head and a very squared off tail this is an adult sharp shinned hawk and we had a nice flight of these today we had 170 sharpies and here's the larger cousin, the Cooper's Hawk. Notice that the head is larger and sticks out farther. The wings are held out very straight. Overall, just looks larger and lankier with a rounded tip to the tail. We had the best flight so far this season of Northern Harriers with 35 total, including this adult male. Here we have a small falcon, this light colored underneath. This is a male American Kestrel, one of 22 that we had today. Here's a large, lanky black and white raptor. This is one of nine osprey that we had migrate today. We had a handful of red-shouldered hawks migrating today with 13 total, including a few adults still, such as this one. As I was photographing some raptors, I had this flock of birds go through my viewfinder, so I quickly started photographing those. These are small galls, and they have a distinctive wingtip pattern. You can see kind of a bright white to the outermost primary feathers, and some of them also have a completely black head already. This is a flock of Bonaparte's galls. As I was looking at my photos on the camera, I was able to pick out this individual, which has completely jet black underwings. This is a much rarer species that sometimes mixes in with Bonaparte's galls. It's the smallest gall species in the world. It is a little gall. In this photo, we have a Bonaparte's gall on the bottom and the little gall on the top. Again, notice those jet black underwings. And even though the underwing is black on the adult little gall, if we look at the upper surface of the wing, which here we can make out the right wing, there's actually no black at all on the upper surface of the wing, whereas Bonaparte's gall has black tips to the primaries. So that's a good field mark if you have them on water or uh, on land rather than flying. Thinking about some of our less common raptors, we did not have any golden eagles today, but we did have this nice juvenile light morph rough-legged hawk. We had just over 100 red-tailed hawks today, including this nice heavily marked individual, probably from the northern subspecies. We knew that the Braddock Bay hawk watch near Rochester had had a big flight of thousands of turkey vultures earlier in the day. So after the rain paused our count and it started to brighten up again and activity started to get going, we knew that we would probably get a big flight of turkey vultures. In fact, someone in Oswego texted us to let us know that they were getting hundreds or even thousands of vultures going by that were heading our way. So we were eagerly anticipating the big kettles of turkey vultures that came through and we were not disappointed with a nice flight of thousands of turkey vultures throughout the afternoon. There were a few distinct individual turkey vultures that stood out. Here we have a turkey vulture that got tangled in some sort of string, possibly from balloons, and it was trailing it behind it. Here we have a turkey vulture that is completely missing its tail, more of a flying wing. And here's a turkey vulture that is missing its central tail feathers, giving it a kind of a split-tailed appearance. And mixed in with those thousands of turkey vultures, I spotted this black vulture. You can see it's a different shape than the turkey vultures, much more compact overall, with a very short tail with a straight trailing edge, and white only here at the wingtips. Very cool species that I see commonly when I'm down in Delaware, but quite a rarity here at Derby Hill, and only our third for the season. Towards the end of the day, we had this pair of sandhill cranes migrate by. And another recent migrant, Kim is back to spend a few more days hawk watching here at Derby Hill, and I think she picked a good day today. 
taking a look at the eBird list, today we had 62 species. And check out this cool new feature that's newly available on eBird lists. You can now add habitat photos to show what it looks like where you were birding. Right now the feature is only available to beta testers, which I guess I am because I'm an eBird reviewer, but soon it will be available to everyone. So keep an eye out for that feature. There was one new species for the season today, which was Little Gall, bringing us to a total of 105 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had one black vulture, 3,411 turkey vultures, 9 ospreys, 9 bald eagles, we had 35 northern harriers, for Asips, we had 170 Sharpshins and 19 Coopers. For Buteos, we had 13 Red-Shouldered Hawks, 103 Red-Tailed Hawks, and one Rough-Legged Hawk. We had 22 American Kestrels and two Merlins for a grand total of 3,795 Migrating Raptors. That brings the April total to 4,537 and the season total to 22,840. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking sunny with a high in the mid 40s and winds west northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So we'll be down at the south lookout and there should be a pretty steady flight of turkey vultures. I think there's a lot that went through Braddock Bay late in the day that probably didn't reach us yet. And there should just be a pretty steady flow of those going by and light to moderate numbers of other raptor species mixed in as well, though they might be difficult to spot with the blue skies. But should be a nice day to be out with some sunshine down at the South Lookout. And the South Lookout can be fun because there's other species around such as meadow larks and there's usually harriers and kestrels hanging out and vesper sparrows have moved in and savannah sparrows. So looking forward to the change of scenery and a decent flight again for tomorrow. For Saturday, rain likely with the potential for heavy rainfall, a high around 50 and winds southeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. So it's a great wind. The only problem is all of that rain, though when I checked this evening, it looks like for the middle part of the day, they've reduced the rain percentage from 90% down to about 50%. So it's possible if they take out some more of that rain from the forecast and we get breaks in the rain throughout the day that we could end up with somewhat of a flight with those good southeasterly winds. So we'll keep an eye on that again tomorrow. And for Sunday, it's looking cloudy with the high in the low 40s and winds west at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll probably be at the south lookout and there may be turkey vultures moving, but probably not too much else. So probably a slow day for Sunday. All right, what a great and satisfying day of hawk watching. You know, yesterday I really agonized over looking at the weather forecast, trying to determine if it would be a good day or not. And in the end, after all of those thunderstorms that kept us all up last night and the rain that lingered into the morning, it really turned into a nice day with the fronts and the weather overall cooperating. And it was just a really big flight of vultures and a really good mix of other raptors as well. So I think everyone who came out today was happy that they did so. And I hope you'll be happy to visit us sometime soon here at Derby Hill. From LEGO Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.